study uh, is quite groundbreaking. It's, it, ha it, I guess, shows us, it demonstrates quite uh, bombshell results here, but nobody, nobody outside of conservative media is talking about it. How come? Well, because it doesn't fit the narrative that we've been hearing for the last eight years, right? That police are the bad guys, that police only want to do certain things in certain communities, more importantly, the black and the brown communities. So we're not going to hear this on mainstream media because it doesn't fit the narrative and it doesn't fit the political agenda of the left. Right. And don't you feel that that's, I guess, insulting, disrespectful, especially to young black men and young white or young uh, black women who are being told by their parents, being told by the media, being told by politicians that their lives are in danger. They're in danger of being targeted by police simply because of the color of their skin. Isn't that, most, that the most insulting narrative the left could possibly hurl at these people? Yeah, absolutely it is. And you touched on it quite well, Liz. I mean, police have become a target for retribution because of this narrative, right? We're almost to 30 officers this year killed in the line of duty by gunfire for this same simple narrative that police are the bad guys in the community. Right. And, and that's such a shame. I want to I want to show our viewers a little bit more about this study. Like I said, it, it looks at basically the most recent uh, data that we have on police-involved shootings from 2015 and 2016. The most recent studies before that we had been talking about were, I think, from about 2009. So this is new data. It was done by two professors from Michigan State and Arizona, psychology and criminal justice professors, and this is what they found. When adjusting for crime, we find no sy uh, systematic evidence of anti-black disparities in fatal shootings, fatal shootings of unarmed citizens, or fatal shootings involving misidentification of harmless objects. They go on to say, multiverse analyses showed only one significant anti-black disparity of 144 possible tests. Exposure to police given crime rate differences likely accounts for the higher per capita rate of fatal police shootings for blacks, at least when analyzing all shootings. That right there, I think, Vincent, is a pretty significant finding that the number of crimes committed by black men accounts for uh, the higher, I guess, the higher percentage of uh, black individuals that are, that are killed in police-involved shootings. No one talks about that either. Yeah, and it's like I always say, I've said this a hundred times, crime brings police, not color. So when you're looking at demographics that have a large population of black males, black individuals, of course it's going to look like police are only doing this in one area, but it's all about numbers. It's demographics. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.